Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today we're talking about the customer satisfaction score and uh, how to calculate it in Excel. We all know that happy customers are the best uh, advocates of our brand through word of mouth marketing. Also, our satisfied customers are the ones that usually go ahead and uh, take the extra mile to promote us to their colleagues, friends, and family. And uh, this is an easy way for us to increase our retention rates and uh, drive profitability upwards. Measuring customer satisfaction usually takes a form of a simple one question survey in the form of how would you rate X, where X can be either the company as a whole, a specific process or interaction, a service, a product. So those are uh, those surveys that you get with like one to five stars, or you can also replace uh, the, the one to five ratings with um, with text, which would be um, somewhere uh, ranging from like very unsatisfactory, uh, unsatisfactory, neutral, uh, satisfactory, and very satisfactory. So those five with, uh, with neutral wink in the middle are pretty much the most common type of rating scale that we would use to, to measure customer satisfaction. Once we get the ratings, uh, there are two ways to look at it. One is to just look at the average rating, and uh, this is uh, the, the simplest one. You just take an average, but uh, it's not usually the best way to approach it. So what, what most people do is actually look at the customer satisfaction score, uh, which uh, as a metric is calculated um, as the proportion of satisfied customers from the total number of customers. So we would take all our customers that gave us a four or five rating, which means satisfactory or very, very satisfactory, and see what percentage those are from the whole lot of customers. So with count the fours and fives and uh, divide that over the total count. What we usually do is uh, we would have uh, like a process or, or the customer lifetime journey and we'll have like key points in it and analyze customer satisfaction at all those key points, identify where we lack something and uh, figure out ways to improve it. The best part about those uh, customer satisfaction questions is that they're really easy to ask, they take but a second to answer, and they don't require uh, the customers to perform something, um, something complex. It's pretty simple. We just need to find the right spots to ask those questions and not do that only after, let's say, we release new features because everyone loves new features. So our uh, score will be quite skewed upward. Once we identify those, and uh, for the purpose of this video, let's look at the basic uh, like life cycle journey with uh, four steps. The first one is the customer visits our website and uh, orders access to our platform. They then receive um, in the second step instructions on how to log in, uh, enter their credentials and set up their whole profile. The third step would be them completing the onboarding process, like watching tutorials, uh, maybe reaching out to a customer support representative and uh, things like that. So getting them ready to use our product. And a fourth step might be um, anytime they need customer support, how this was handled. Now that we have those four steps, we'd ask how satisfied our customer was with the process after each of those four steps. And once we have this data for a bunch of customers, we can go ahead, open Excel, and see how easy it is to analyze customer satisfaction. Here's the raw data that I have. So I have our customers and their ratings during four steps of their customer journey. So I want to add a new sheet and apply some formatting to it. And this is going to be my customer satisfaction or CSAT score analysis. CSAT score analysis for the sheet title. Okay, let me zoom that in a bit. What I want here is uh, at first I want to have the step. It's going to be my step one all the way to step four. I also want to have the number of ratings. And this is going to be my number of ratings that I'm going to summarize here. So let me just format this accordingly. Then it will make a bit more sense. 
And uh, here's a quick tip, instead of merging those, I'm gonna do right click, format cells, alignment, and horizontal center across selection. Okay, let's bold that. I want those bolded as well. And uh, let's give them a nice background. And uh, this here will be our regular blue. Okay, so here I want to get my numbers uh, of different ratings. To do that, I'm gonna employ the count diffs formula. I'm gonna go to my row data and I'm gonna count the first step where it's one. Okay, we have 28 people in our first step that um, that gave a rating of one. What we can do now is just fix that because we want to be looking at the first step. So I'm gonna press F4 on the D on this column here for step one. Now we can just expand this to the side, and we have at step one our survey that we did. We have a breakdown of different uh, ratings that uh, different people gave. So we had 28 people give it a 1 and we had 248 give it a 5. Let's do the same for uh, the next uh, batch. Count divs. So step 2, comma. Go back here and I want it to be at 1. Let's fix this one as well. Count tiffs. We want to count column F for step three. We're gonna fix it right here. Comma, and I want it to be equal to my rating of one. And count tiffs. My last step, fix it as well. And I want it to be criteria to be one. Okay, now that we have those and we fixed the columns, we can just copy them to the side. And uh, that's a summary of um, how many people gave each rating at each step. Now, let's go ahead and calculate our average rating. And uh, this is one of the ways to, to actually uh, analyze uh, customer satisfaction, is to look at the average rating. I don't think it's uh, it's the best idea, and I'm going to show you why uh, in just uh, a second. So, apart from the average rating, of course, we're going to calculate our customer satisfaction score and outline why it's uh, the better metric. If I can just copy this here, okay, and you see that it's already centered because it copies the formatting. So this will be our customer satisfaction score calculation. Our average rating is uh, pretty simple, so we just need the average uh, but weighted because we have different people giving different ratings. So what we can do is use the sum product uh, formula. And uh, what we do with the sum product formula, we can just give it two arrays and it's going to multiply each of the elements. So one. Um, times 28, 2 times 28, 3 times 30, and so on, and sum those. Then I want to divide this over the total number of ratings that we got, which is this here, the, the number of ratings given. Okay, 4.14, I think, yeah. Okay, let's uh, make this formula easy to copy down, so if I can just fix those here, we can then copy the formula down with control D and uh, get the average rating for uh, each step of our customer journey. We can see that we're actually doing pretty good. Just grab those and add a chart to illustrate it. Okay, so here we have our average rating, step one through step four. Just format that a bit, so make that 50. Let's get rid of this and uh, just add data labels here. And uh, I would like those to be on the inside end. Let's control B to bold them and let's make them white. 
And also this thing here, let's make sure that it's consistent with our coloring. So let's make it our dark blue. And I don't think we even need those here. Okay, decrease the size of this a bit. So now we have a really concise um, chart showing us how we did at each step. And you can see that uh, each step does a bit better. And this can very well be the case when at first uh, they're still not sure if they're gonna be a part of the longer journey, so they're not exactly fully aligned. But uh, as we progress and we deliver to them, they're more and more satisfied. This is the, the best case scenario. What happens if we decide to calculate our customer score? And uh, remember, our customer score is pretty much the sum of our fours and fives, so those that are satisfied, divided by our total um, service. This will be the sum of our fours and fives divided over the sum of all ratings that we got. Okay, let's copy that down, present it as a percentage. Probably see something already, but uh, the, the easiest way to actually illustrate this is to just uh, copy this chart. Okay, let's put those side by side. And uh, this here is gonna be our CSAT score. And uh, let me just make those Gonna be consistent in our style. Add data labels. Put them at the inside end, and I'm actually gonna make those orange. Okay, so there's something that emerges immediately. So even though our average rating grew, our customer satisfaction score actually dropped. Uh, it's not a huge drop, but it's still a drop that we need to address. We definitely need to look into step two and uh, try to figure out why the satisfaction score dropped. And uh, the reason for that is that the average increases because we have more people moving from one and two to three. So you can see here we have 28 drops down to 17, 28 increases a bit, but still and uh, then 30 increases quite a lot. So this gives us uh, a better average rating, but at the same time, the actual satisfaction score, the people that are overall satisfied, drops. That's pretty much how to analyze your customer satisfaction score, and uh, you can extend that to have, like, uh, you can track each step over periods, so, Let's say instead of having the steps here, we can be just looking at one step and having like each next month what, uh, what it looks like and then we'll be able to see the progress and uh, figure out where we need to tweak our procedures in order to ensure better uh, customer journey, which would result in more satisfied customer base, which of course would increase retention and uh, the, the bottom line. As you saw, it's, uh, it's really simple to, to just uh, pull the data in Excel and uh, analyze it. And by implementing the customer satisfaction score and not only looking at average ratings, you can actually see that we might uncover interesting insights. Uh, in our current uh, scenario, you notice that um, while our average ratings were growing, our customer satisfaction score actually dropped at our second step. So what we usually do next is review the process for this second step, uh, talk to the people that are involved in it and try to figure out what uh, results in, in lower satisfaction for our customer base and what actions can we take to improve that and, uh, and increase our retention rates, decrease churn and uh, pretty much drive the bottom line up. Okay guys, that's all I had for you today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. What percentage are those out of the top? The, the good thing, uh, why it's cute in the, in the positive end. Then they, um, and uh, by, by, by start, so, um, so next steps will be to... <clears throat>